Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a comparison of the Samsung S21 Ultra and the Galaxy Z Flip 3, which is one of Samsung's newest phones. Now the Z Flip 3 is kind of in a class all its own, or there are other phones like it, but it's in a special class. It has the foldable display. The S21 Ultra, on the other hand, continues Samsung's excellent S line of phones and it's definitely probably the best S phone that Samsung has ever made. So if you're trying to decide between the two hopefully this video can help you out so let's get into it. Okay so the first thing I want to talk about is the screens. So first the similarities both phones have super AMOLED displays with 120 Hertz refresh rates. Both displays support HDR 10 plus However, that's where the similarities end. The Flip 3 has an additional 1.9 inch screen on the back of the phone and that display supports basic tasks such as sending text messages, playing music, or taking selfies. So that's a very cool additional feature to have. The S21 Ultra screens is both brighter however and has a higher resolution. The max brightness of the S21 Ultra is 1500 nits, whereas the Flip 3 has a max brightness of 1200 nits. What does that mean? If you're just indoor looking at the phones, it's not going to be a big difference because you're probably not going to have your phone uh, set to max brightness. However, if you're outdoors, it might be a little easier under direct sunlight to see the S21 Ultra screen because it can get brighter. However, 1200 nits should be fine for outdoor viewing. The S21 Ultra also has a larger screen. It's 6.8 inches, whereas the Flip 3 has a 6.7 inch screen. However, the Flip 3 has a 22 by 9 aspect ratio, so it's a bit narrower and uh, longer aspect ratio. And the S21 Ultra has a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. As for resolution, the Flip 3 is a 1080p screen and it has a resolution of 1080 by 2640. The S21 Ultra, on the other hand, is a Quad HD display with a resolution of 1440 by 3200. Now on screens this size, it's not as big a difference as it might seem. Yes, if you're really pixel peeping, you might be able to see the difference. However, I think both screens look great. I, I own the S21 Ultra and I've held the Flip 3 and just played around with it. And both screens look great if you use your phone for a lot of multimedia consumption you're not going to be able to go wrong with either phone. Both are pl plenty bright, both have really nice saturated colors, and both just look beautiful. As for the body itself, both the front and back of the S21 Ultra is covered in Corning Gorilla Glass Victus. The Flip 3, on the other hand, only has the Gorilla Glass Victus on the back. That's because, you know, the front is foldable. So on paper, the S21 Ultra should be the more durable phone. And I'm sure with careful use, both phones should be plenty durable. Now let's move on into the processor. No matter where you are in the world, the Flip 3 will have Snapdragon's 888 processor. However, depending on where you are in the world, the S21 Ultra will either have the Snapdragon 888 if you're in North America, or Samsung's own Exynos 2100 if you're in the PAL regions. Now the difference between those two processors is not huge. No matter which version of the S21 Ultra you get, you're still gonna have basically the same phone, so don't really worry about the processor. The S21 Ultra does have more RAM. There's actually two models of it. One has 12 gigabytes of RAM and there's also a 16 gigabyte of RAM version. The Flip 3 only has 8 gigabytes of RAM and that's the maximum. 8 gigabytes should be enough for most people. It should be more than enough. However, the S21 Ultra does have more RAM. As for storage, the S21 Ultra goes up to 512 gigabytes with the base model starting at 128 gigabytes. The Flip 3 only goes up 
to 256 gigabytes and again the base model has 128 gigabytes of storage neither of these phones have expandable storage slots so you have to make sure you know how much storage you need before you make the purchase because your only option will be either external or cloud storage both phones run Android 11 with Samsung's One UI. However, the Flip 3 has the newer One UI 3.1.1 and the S21 Ultra has One UI 3.1. Now, some of the features of One UI 3.1.1 have been updated to the S21 Ultra with the latest August security firmware. However, I've heard reports that Samsung is not even going to update the S21 Ultra to the 3.1.1 and instead we'll just, uh, the next update will be the One UI 4.0. So we gotta wait and see. Now the battery, and this is where the S21 Ultra really starts differentiating itself. The phone is huge and therefore has a pretty big battery. It's a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. From my own experience, the battery life has been great. It'll last me the whole day basically. And all the other reviewers I've seen have said that this has great battery life, even with the resolution set to the max quad HD resolution. The Flip 3 on the other hand, because of its design actually hindered Samsung from using a bigger battery. So the battery on this phone is actually very small. It's only 3,300 milliamp hours. Now that's a pretty small battery even for a smaller phone. S21 5G, which is the smallest S21 model, has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery and even that phone has pretty not great battery life. Now you think that because the battery is smaller that Samsung would include really fast wireless charging with the Flip 3. However, that's not the case and the wireless charging is actually slower than the S21 Ultra. The S21 Ultra can do fast charging at 25 watts per hour, whereas the Flip 3 is capped at 15 watts per hour. So that's something to keep in mind if you charge your phone a lot and it looks like with the Flip 3 you might have to be charging your phone a lot. However, Samsung does update the software frequently and these updates also come with battery improvements. So we'll see how this phone lasts, you know, a few months from now. And now the camera, and again, this is where the S21 Ultra really differentiates itself. It has the best camera system of any Samsung phone at the moment. But first, let's talk about the Flip 3. The Flip 3 has a 12 megapixel main rear camera, which is the wide angle, and that has an f-stop of 1.8. It also has an ultra wide 12 megapixel shooter with an f-stop of 2.2. The S21 Ultra on the other hand has both more camera lenses and higher megapixel counts. So the main wide angle rear camera on the S21 Ultra has 108 megapixels and an f-stop of 1.8. It also has an ultra wide, which is 12 megapixels with an f-stop of 2.2. In addition to the wide angles, it also has two telephoto lenses, one with 10 times optical zoom, the other with three times optical zoom, and they're both 10 megapixels. If you use your phone for taking a lot of pictures and you zoom in, a lot. The S21 Ultra does offer better zoom capabilities. The Flip 3 still has one of the best camera systems out of any phone out there. It's just that the 21 Ultra offers more. As far as the front facing camera goes, again, this goes to the S21 Ultra with its 40 megapixel front facing camera. The front facing camera on the Flip 3 is only 10 megapixels in comparison, but I'm sure selfies look great on both. The S21 Ultra also has more video capabilities. The S21 Ultra also can shoot 8K video at 24 frames per second, whereas the Flip 3 can do 4K at 60 FPS max. Now, most people, like including myself, kind of look at 8K as just a gimmick, and I find myself using the 4K uh, resolution whenever I want to shoot video. So. That's kind of a toss up. The 8K doesn't really make a difference. However, the front facing cameras, uh, the S21 Ultra caps out at 4K 60 frames per second, whereas the Flip 3 can only do 4K at up to 30 frames per second with the front facing camera. If you shoot a lot of 60 frames per second 4K with your front facing camera, then you probably want to go for the S21 Ultra. 
Both phones are water resistant. However, the S21 Ultra is both dust and water resistant. The Flip 3 has a IP rating of IPX8, whereas the S21 Ultra has an IP rating of IP68. And that's it for the comparisons. I just wanted to compare the specs quickly. So I think ultimately you got to ask yourself what's more important to you. Do you want do you want a phone that you can shut and that's very small and easier to carry around or do you want a phone with a better camera system and bigger screen? Again, like I said, that's all up to preference. Me personally, I would go with the S21 Ultra for my needs. I think I'm going to hold off a few years on the, the foldable screen technology just until they perfect it a little more. And that's it for me. Give this video a like if it helped you out. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I upload pretty much every week and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See you later.